Hi, my name is Mike Quinn, and this is the Ultimate Frontline Leadership Training Podcast. Now today I'm going to be talking to you about not beginning your sentence with a command. Um, lately I've been noticing a lot of the managers are uh, just going around telling people what to do. They're not saying hi, they're not saying your name. Uh, they're just saying, I need you to clean those bathrooms over there for me, please. Can you pick up, can you grab a broom and sweep this thing over here? It sounds mundane enough, but smiling and saying hi and r recognizing somebody with their name, these are all three pretty important ways to start a conversation or even to start an ask. So if you're going to ask somebody to do something for you, you might as well start with a smile. Hey, how you doing, Betty? How you doing? Hey, could you do me a favor? I need you to pick up the, the papers right over here, please. People are just walking all over them. And, and can you just pick those up for me real quick? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. They pick up the papers and say, all right, thank you, Betty. You're awesome. You know, that little type of uh, interaction goes much, much further with your employees and the atmosphere of which the, the you know, your, your company culture uh, is is observed. If people just walk around and say, hey, can you pick up those papers for me, please? Hey, Joe, grab a broom and sweep this uh, front over here. You know, it's much better if you say, hey, Phil, how you doing? You having a good day? Great. Could you do me a favor? Could you grab a broom and sweep up around over here for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. Okay, it's starting to get a little, a little messy. Thanks, Joe. You're the best. You know, this type of atmosphere is a much better working atmosphere than just having people just say, hey, just do this, just do that. And oftentimes, they're not even smiling. And when somebody receives a message without a smile, that usually means, are they mad at me? Did I do something wrong? You know, you're going to be messing with your employees' heads when all you really wanted was somebody just to grab a broom and sweep the floor. You don't need to be messing with their heads, too. So, say, smile, say, hey, Phil. Do me a favor. Hey, could you give, come here a second, please? Can you grab a broom and sweep that up over there for me, please? It's just driving me nuts. Okay, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, Phil. Phil goes and does it, puts a broom back. Thanks, Phil, man. You're the best. I really appreciate it. Okay? Toss him a chocolate, you know, whatever type of little rewards you might have been going on. But this is a great opportunity to also say thanks. Um, smiling, saying the person's name, saying please. And then saying thanks afterwards and doing some kind of high five or some type of little reward for a little job is a great way to improve the atmosphere or the culture that uh, you're working in. So I know this is a little, a little message here. I'm trying to make these little five-minute um, videos on just short easy subjects that what I'm finding are not getting done in the workplace and they're adding to a drab work environment. And uh, what people are really wanting nowadays is they're wanting to feel more appreciated. They're wanting to feel uh, empowered. They're wanting to feel valuable and you're not going to make them feel any of those things. If you just tell them to go do something and then go tell somebody else to go do something and you're just always saying, okay, your break starts now, come back and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, smile and say please and say the person's name. The person's name, any person's name is their favorite word in their favorite language. Bar none. Uh, books have been written about this. Uh, how to Win Friends and Influence People is all about remembering people's names, um, you know, just being nice to people, all right? This needs to be the job. If you're a supervisor, if, you, if you're if you managing other people, you need to be the nicest person in the building. You really do. Because if you're not, the people who you're you're supervising are not liking it too much. And they're either looking to switch departments or switch companies. Uh, nowadays, the work environment is an extremely important place for you to put your energy into making things more enjoyable at the workplace. So that ends today's little mini lesson. I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, I'll see you next week.